Good afternoon. Please state your name and occupation for the record. Members of the jury, ladies and gentlemen, your honor. Good afternoon. My name is Grace. And your occupation? Oh, I don't think you want to know my occupation. Sorry, Miss Grace. Do you think it's a joke here? Can you please state your occupation? Well, in that case, I occupy myself as an occupation. You know, you know, occupy, occupation. You get it? Bruh. Anyways, can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear to say the truth, nothing but the whole truth, so help you God? Do I have a choice? Can I not swear because I'm addicted to lying? No, you don't have a choice. Yes, I swear, so help me, Father God. When it comes to the case of Mrs. Grace, the court is now on session. Let the defendant explicitly admit her guilt. You may now proceed. Well, most of you guys already know that, but I am guilty of being a liar and blaming other people for my mistakes. Are you the one who drank my milk? No, I did not. Then who did? Ask Melissa, she the one always drinking your milk. I hate when she does that, like, I need to talk to her. Wait, what are you drinking? Oh, this? It's just water with chunk. Jesus! It is what it is, you know. Sometimes I'm guilty of not being guilty of doing that. So what makes us think that right now you're not lying to us? Because I'm not. If I tell you that I'm lying, then it means that I'm telling you the truth. So I'm not lying. Don't worry. Anyways, proceed. I'm also guilty of not being productive and wasting my life on social media. Should I work out right now or not? Should I work out right now or not? I hate when I'm not productive, but you know what? It is what it is. Oh my god. So this generation has come to this. I am guilty of not being guilty by doing that. Wow. It is what it is, like what that says all the time. I am guilty of leaving people unseen and complain when they leave me unseen. That's a fine right there. What do you mean you leave niggas unseen? Like, what? It's like, you're not allowed to leave me unseen, but... I am allowed to leave your seat, you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> Wait, is she actually serious right now? Are we really? Last but not least, I am guilty of killing people. Ladies and gentlemen, can you all settle down? Let the defendant be explicitly precise, because right now she's confusing us. What do you mean? <laughs> Life is all about choice. Every single day you make a choice and that day I made a choice, right? It was either my life or theirs and you know, if I had to do it again, I will. I'm not even gonna hesitate. Like, I will just do it. Until now, I am not understanding you. Can you be more precise? It's not my fault. It always catches me off guard and it's every time I'm in class. And I'm like, don't come, don't come. And it always comes. Sometimes it catches me off guard to an extent where I have to faint. Like, it's not my fault. Until now, I am very not understanding you. It is what it is. You know, what do you want me to do? Like, I'm not gonna die. No. Can you be more precise? What are you trying to say? I am guilty of... Re I am guilty of releasing toxic smells. Jesu! Jay! Help us! Do you have a pen so I can borrow? You know you can't be prosecuted for that! Hmm. Hmm. That's why I don't have any friends. You know what you are? You are ES. Hey. And then you smell. You're a nasty beast. That, that is nasty. That, that's a fault. Jay. That's an assault. It is when you... I'm supposed to hear of this. You know what, Mrs. Grace, I have heard enough of you and your guilt. After deliberation with the jury, Grace is hereby sentenced to death for her toxic smells, who has killed around 300 children in that school. Also, the defendant is hereby committed to the hygiene department, where she'll be taught how to bath, brush, because gum is not a toothbrush, and also they'll teach her when to release her toxic gas. The court has now ended. Remember, Anything you say, do, or release will be used against you in a court. In a court. <laughs>